endurance forever. And uh, the end seems to be a bit feeble. May I say this once again? Shall we give thanks to the Lord for He is good and His mercy is endurance forever? And I was today saying, today is the third week of the year 2017. Uh, the first two weeks of the year, uh, we voted those weeks for a special prayer. Uh, so that the Lord will show us where to go as a church. Because without Him, just can't do nothing. Uh, so, Nimoa, yes, so after the prayer, we have to set up our goals for the year where the church will be moving to. So, and also acknowledge the fact that the Lord was with us throughout 2016 and give praises to him for that. So, to start, the 2016 has come and gone, and it has come and gone with everything that it came with. So as Seventh-day Adventists in Southwest, let us as individuals and collectively take stock of our Christian life in 2016. Let us take off our spiritual growth and our personal experience that we had with the Almighty Christ. And after taking the inventory, let us also make sure that we make a difference as we have the chance to be part of 2017. Now, to the new officers in 2017, to the new officers in 2017, uh, both leaders and departmental leaders, whoever has actually accepted any position for 2017. And I know As we have all accepted the new roles in 2017 this yeah. year, yeah. let us bear in mind that this new roles comes with cost and um. numerous responsibilities. Jesus wants us to look after his flocks. And indeed, we will deny Jesus Christ if we fail to address the social, physical, and spiritual growth of his flocks. So as leaders of 2017, let us avail ourselves for the Lord to shower on us the power of the Holy Spirit, which will help us to embark our leadership journey. As leaders of the church, let us also open up to constructive criticism and deal passionately with those that may seem that may seem negative to us. As leaders of the church in 2017, let us try as much as we can to tolerate individual members' view, 
even if it may not make sense to us. At times, the cost of being a leader of the church can be very great. Sometimes life threatening, but with God on our side, victory will be for us. Leaders, let us bear in mind that our leadership this year is not of political or civic one, where leaders, lords on their subject, but it is a religious position that we have taken. We are elected as religious leaders, and our mandate is to serve members of the church, call to say hello to the members, teach and preach the doctrine of the church to everyone in the church. That is our core mandate. Uh, but I have said, but friends say, Yemrani, Yemerson, Asakono, Nafi, Yen Church, we need to mark what they are saying, sir. As leaders of the church, again, let the members see some good attributes in us. As that is like, say, yeah, a teacher for Yemma, a super, and a deep, a free, and one hour with the HL. I'm talking of attributes like trust. Uh, let the members have confidence in us. Let the members see patient in speaking to them with us. Let the church members see smiling faces in the leadership of the church. Let us also be very approachable and tolerant to each and every man in the church. And let us compose ourselves at any situation in the church as well as function orderly for the glory of God. Above all, let, let us bear in mind that being a leader, our reward will not come from individuals, but from the Almighty God. Amen. So, our vision for 2017, Southwest. First thing is to unite and build the spiritual growth of the church in the world. There has been also a lot of recommendation that has come, which we have also taken it on board, to integrate the youth more in our services programs. All our programs that we do to, to encourage each and everyone to win a soul for Christ. Each and everyone to win a soul for Christ. Christ. 2017 to intensify our visitation programs. And above all, to also look for church properties. So, five special visions for 2017. So, as report, today is PM Day. So before we go on to the PM theme, I would like us to offer a special prayer. Oscar, will you come and pray for us before we go on for the service? That you pray that the Lord take full control of whatever we are going to say today. Lord, we are
dear, let us say, you call on Chema Ubu, it is Utayano, Titru, you say, your best Rasra, one hour, your man Tebuha. That is personal ministry. Aid. Uh, yeah, uh, if you end up some kind for. Number two, to yes. revive our dormant small groups, it has also. Yeah, I told you, you say, you walk it in Kitia, you hear a more fire, you know, you better say, you better say, you can. Number three, to intensify our afternoon Bible studies. Now, yes, I say, Bible, and this year, you know, a baby, and also more can. And above all, to win as many souls as we can for Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. We don't know you know, you better say, you better get a crap, a man, yes, said, yes, said. Today, I have titled my sermon, looking at the general conference uh, theme and looking at also the theme Southwest have also taken. Ojira, sa etri mupa general conference enya ene Southwest ye eni daswana ye buta ye kesi eno ye watu ni semo a obe kana vya idi ni. Are we among God leaders? So, yes, so you can't already apart for no more. Are we among God liberals? So, yeah, yeah, already apart for no more. Do you believe that you were called for a duty? What did you say? What Frau said, but yeah, be. When we read the memory verse, you can't kind of no more see you, yeah. It was the last message that Jesus said before he departed to heaven. And only and Christ Samuel Yesu a can yeah and Sada Ufri as I see so I go through. So it meant a lot for Jesus to tell the disciples whom he was actually standing around Mount Inora. Say Otum for no more be a ne Yanopa it just said yes na a sama or catch a sample na in Yanopa Papa. It was the last message that he spoke to the people before he left. We are grand sama in chat one cra or the man. After that message, he said nothing and he ascended to heaven. Oka we know one can be a be na brookum man so the course road. Believe in God. Believe in God. Go ye therefore, preach the gospel to everyone, and baptize them in the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Ghost, and keep on teaching them. That is our mandate. Hey, no, any but I have a deep amazing. That is your mandate. And only a dear or dear Jaw. Anything apart from that is. A completely out of order. Say, Libya, anyway, ever a brand. If there is a church member, if there is a church of today which does not have a program that has something to do with soul winning, then that church is dead. Say, as a movie of honor, only but I am here, and even change a crab. Yes, in China, that's as a for no ATSA. Our soul mandate. For the reason why Jesus has called us to be part of this vineyard is to spread the gospel, win some souls for Him. That's our call, right? There are fraud, fraud, and in you and it's said, "Yemrana, yemaji, akra, ema yesu." So the question now goes: Are you among the laborers of God? And the idea is to say, "We are a powerful movie, and I'm reading from Matthew chapter nine, verse thirty-five to thirty-eight. Matthew and Saint Paul. The Bible says, and Jesus went throughout all the cities and the villages, teaching in the synagogues and preaching the gospel of the kingdom. And healing every disease and every affliction. Now, any When he saw the crowd, now he had compassion for them. Oh, because they were harassed. If we say now, or how near to team and helpless. 
na uni watobaha like sheep without a shepherd and he said there are only there for then he said here is the point then he said na ni awoka eni then he said to southwest church members and now see southwest for say listen to this word muntie we this is our call we eni your friend the harvest is plentiful but the laborers are few. Nemum Abaponisha. This is a sad story. Jesus so many people who were harassed and helpless. Yes, Munipa Brea, what you have to say, and what you have to He saw many people who were in the need. Who were in need. Oh, and you have to pray, so what you have to be. But there were few people around him, so he said, the harvest is plentiful. Why are you But the laborers are few. Therefore, pray earnestly to the Lord. Pray earnestly to the Lord of the harvest to send out the laborers into his harvest. Brethren, many Christians of today understand little about our labor for the Lord. Now, we sometimes try hard to accomplish this work, but sometimes it becomes impossible because we use our flesh in trying to achieve and the Lord. The harvest is plentiful. But the labors are few. Where is the harvest? So what kind of labors is the Lord looking for? Today, I call you, we are all laborers for God. But can you, can you, can you sincerely tell Jesus that indeed you are also part of the laborers? If Jesus is to come today, can you sincerely say, and no prayer over to me, I can't also, yeah, who are the laborers Jesus is looking for? Who are they? Woman and wine. God is expecting a faithful laborers. God is expecting the loyal ones. Jesus is expecting the dedicated laborers. Laborers that cannot be bought or sold. These are the laborers Jesus wants on his field. My question is, do you, have, do you have this quality? Are you a faithful laborer? Are you loyal? Are you dedicated? Can you be bought or sold? Look, if you haven't got this attribute, then it means you cannot be a good laborer to Jesus. So Revelation chapter 3, verse 13 says something. When there was a characteristic which was given by John to talk about some churches. Church. 
This is what the, the, the Bible says. Ni a trona keni. I know. Mini mis, mini pepe. Revelation says, I know your works. Mini muni man. You are made in cold or hot. We have a trouble job. We need she and I say we need you. It will have been better you are cold or hot. And can yes sir, we need you know and I say we need you. But you are lukewarm. No man, we have a trouble job. Because you are lukewarm. And I'm sorry, we have a trouble job. I will spit you out of my mouth. Me fi o ma fa me no. How many of us are Botrobodo people here? Yeah. How many of us are lukewarm? Three categories in the church. That's what Lodidia church was. Three people. Three different kinds of groups. So first one. Three kinds of people in and what kind of ones The first group, they were very hot. And Others in the church were also lukewarm. And others cold. Now listen to this. The cold one knows that for me, we, we are not part of you. So that's it. We are going to do whatever we like. The hot ones are the cold abiding ones. But the worst among these three groups is the lukewarm. They are called the Konomukaya. Quick, quick. They are called Konomukaya. They are the people who never go or who never come. They are not hot. They are neither cold. And they are also not cold. So it's like they are in the church. You don't know a kind of job that they are doing. You wouldn't be able to identify a kind of people they are. They will come as you see them coming. Eventually you see them going back. Sometimes you find it difficult to deal with certain people. Jesus is saying those people is going to spit them out of their mouth. So Jesus is expecting the hot laborers. Yes, we are here. About four or more more share. They come with a very good character. We are not in Christ, but but we cannot pretend to be followers of Christ whilst our lives start showing negative traits in the world. So, young guys, you do yes, we are here. Ebra, you subai no, you ni subai no, you do yes, we are here. When we spend all our quality times in the world for our own selfish interests. Ebra, you say you are here, you are here, you are here, you are here. Cannot be a good level. Yet to me, any other papa, you should be a good level. As I said, yeah, yeah, a papa, a liberal who is earning something very special from the master. Ah, papa, niya, oh, aye, you man, niye, amanira. Are you a good level? Oh yeah, papa, papa. Are you a good level? I'm papa, oh yeah, papa, papa. Kofi Brenu, come from. Ah, I do hope Kofi Brenu is free. I didn't say a true hope. <laughs> I didn't say it. Kofi <laughs> <laughs> Bredu come from Ikuapim, actually. Kofi Bredu of Ikuapim, Ewa Ghana. He had his father called Tete, the father. And then he had a friend Tete. Tete and Uku, they were three. And that was more years after four. Actually, he became a liberal to the Koko family. In the Obeye of Papua, Ewa Uku, and Fu. Listen to Kofi Bredu's character and be a good labor for God. Who be in here? Kofi Bredu, the subway or dead? Ye na ye ye. Opa opa ma na koko. It is a koko harvest time. Now koko no aso se ye tiye. When it is a koko harvest time, se koko suna si ye betiye. He takes very serious of the harvest. In the Opa ne ni prepa. Because it is out of the harvest that Kofi Bredu will also. Getting his reward. I indeed, Coco no better than no Ibuna or no so Obenya in past two or three. You know how Coco harvest is done. Eh, Ibupi himself here is here to go. All the pots, they pluck all the pots, they bring them together. Yet see, Coco na bani na the guho ebono is here. And in those days, na the Johan is here. Let's see, let's see. I'm talking of a town called Potuchi, Potuchi, Agra Potuchi. That is what is here. Ah, Potuchi. I want to know if he bred no. Exactly. That was where he was doing. 
bringing all the posts together, they invite other villagers to also come and help them. Go. And in the cracking of the cocoa pots, getting the beans, a lot of people will come from various areas. And those big commercial farmers, you can see the heap, the heap of the cocoa pots, very big. And for the job to go nicely, in the middle of that post, they put sardines or milk and all those kind of stuff. That cocoa pot. And he will be telling the laborers that this thing is inside, so start breaking the pot quickly and get it. They were laborers. They were laborers. And they are and their reward is to get something out of the cocoa, and that is all. And let us see the seriousness this labors attached to the work that they were doing. And compared to yourself, the seriousness you are attaching to God's work, which is going to take you to heaven. So, Every time there is a cocoa pot cracking, he will make sure that he takes all those gifts, the sardines, the milk, and the coffee, he will make sure that he takes all of them. So if you do the S, you pass it, you buy cocoa with the air, every day you have to walk with me. So if you do the S, you buy it, 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 you buy it. That's good, brilliant, that's quite good. So, the cracking of the cocoa starts. They have a very short cut. Uh, and you have to sharpen it properly so that it can crack the cocoa quickly. And in, uh, so the cocoa cracking starts. And the people are around. And you the cocoa cracking starts. And the people are around. 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 All of a sudden, the brain prayer. The people had a severe cut. Second time, shall the people do? Because he was rushing to get the sardine, and the man inside. 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 The man The man inside. The man inside. The man inside. The man The man The man inside. The man The man to the surprise of everybody, Kofi Brodo was the guy who was able to win the sardine and everything inside because he could crack quickly. What I'm saying is, he was a very loyal to the work that he was doing. You are a laborer. Uh, are you serious? When you are tell me. Catch me. What are you doing? Dear now, Now, has the Lord given us anything as laborers to work with? As an owner of a farm or MD of a particular company. These leaders will provide working tools for the workers to improve productivity. So do God always also make provisions for such a divine task. So So if God called you to be a laborer, so Did He give you any tools? Do you have anything to work with? Let's see what the Lord provides for us. Number one. 
The Holy Spirit is 24-7 ready to assist us when we avail ourselves. Hallelujah. The word, the Bible, is also there for us. To study and listen, the Bible will also equip us in the right frame of mind. To have absolute faith in God will also give us hope. As laborers, as laborers, to have a total dedication, selfless sacrifice will also help us. Patient. And wise on the harvest field will also help us. All this has been provided. Anything that we need to do the work of God is given to us. Jesus said, I'm going and I'll send you the Holy Spirit. Yes, the Holy Spirit will come and assist us. The work of the Holy Spirit is to lead us so that we will be able to reach those who are vulnerable. We don't do the work. The work is done by God Himself. The Spirit of the Lord has already done the job. It is up to us to be part, just like that. Hallelujah. Are you a good neighbor? Recently, we went to Expo, and it was Mark, uh, Pastor Mark Philly, who led us. Uh, we are. Recently, recently, we went to Expo at uh, New Bo College. And Enjoy, we went to New Bo College. Pastor Matthew told us a story, and I just want to tell you the story. And the story was about the work of the Holy Spirit for us today. Now, Kasafa, Mungrongrono, Juma, Oji, Yabri. And the advice was that please don't be worried. And Oji, Oju, Yavuse, Yamayere, Mugra. The Holy Spirit has already taken lead of the job. You said, Mungrongrono, Adikai, 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 Adikai. He was in China. Okay, China, my And there was one family that, that, decided, to, uh, that decided to accept Jesus Christ. Now, you know, in part of China, it is not even allowed to, to read the Bible. Neither will you even have to read the Bible. So, in that province, there was a law that just cannot proclaim the word of God. just cannot proclaim the word of God. But this particular family insisted that once I have seen Jesus Christ and once my mind is to speak the word of God, no one can shut me down. They said, I will hear you. So the family started just doing this underground evangelism. It was personal ministry. So within a short time, this Chinese family has been able to warn about 20, 10, 20 people. And they were meeting only in her house. In her house. Then all of a sudden, a news came to the government. Uh, the Chinese government got to know what was happening. So the leader of the provinces arrested that woman. That lady, you have been told not to preach the word of God. Why are you doing that? This woman was arrested. It's Pastor Mark Philip who told us the story. Just uh, the woman was arrested and the woman was taken to prison. For one year. Fine. In the prison, he went and met the prison and he met about, I think, 120 inmates in the prison. So the prisoner, nothing stopped him in the prison. 
The woman did 20 within, his, uh, within her house and she was taken to the prison. In the prison, he met 120 images. Before the authorities got to know something about this man, he has actually repented 60 out of this image. <laughs> Now listen to the story. When the authorities got to know that the prisoners have also repented. They came to this man. They said to him, look, you have spent six months in prison. It's okay, we are relieving you. And the man knowing that there are 60 still left in the prison, he told them, no, 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 it's illegal. Once you have put me in prison, let you spend, let you spend all the year. Now, they are say, I can't in the park, I can't be 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 Let him be in the prison, because the law is that you arrest me and I spend one year here, let you spend one year here. Or say, a brand new dress, he had the to in fear, afe, in the moment, in the afe, no waha. But the authorities were so scared that if they don't get this man out of the prison, he's going to repent everybody. Ah, um, no, say, say, um, you know, if you are a prisoner for the union, I'm a massacre. They left him off. The message is the Holy Spirit is already doing the work. Hallelujah. Amen. At your working place. We don't preach here. We've had a lot. Let us go out. At our working places. Everywhere we find ourselves. Let us speak the word of God. Amen. Amen. So, the Lord God allows us to be part of His work. Actually, it is a grace. As Christians, God invites us to be partners with Him at His working place, and it is also a grace for us. God partner with us for the job is not a new thing for us today. He used the old people at his work. I mean, talk of Moses. Moses was provoked. Moses, Moses was provoked into delivering his people from the hands of the Egyptians. Moses However, God knew where he was taking the people to. And on now, when you come to Joshua, God also gave a complicated job to Joshua. He told Joshua, I need to leave my people to go to land the city of Jericho. go around the city of Jericho. could have lived it by himself by saying, all oh, Jericho will get broken and it will get broken. Yet he used Joshua. God can repent the people around our community today. But he needs to be part of it. So that we will know his glory. Let us make a change. And let us make a difference also. Because the Holy Spirit is leading us already. About four or five years ago, we were doing a revival in this church. The Holy Spirit is ready for us. So let us get ourselves ready. All of a sudden, a man popped in here. And the name was Zafa. The name is Zafar. Nobody invited him. He came here. But we are friend of He came and sat down here. So we went to him and we made the quarries. And he said to us, he was passing by. No, okay. Something instantly pushed him to come here. I'm telling you the work of the Holy Spirit. It is there for us. 
Oh yeah. Are you sure the Lord will reward you from Revelation chapter 22 verse 12? Are you sure you will be getting that reward? Are you sure? Are you sure? Oh, I am coming and I am coming back. I am coming so quick. I will have my reward to be given to all of you. According to your works. What work have you done? What so have you been able to warm? How many years have you been in this church? What answer you Every day you come, you go. 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 How many souls? Are you serious? Can God give, can God give, can God give you any payment? Can you be rewarded? You be rewarded? You be rewarded? You be rewarded? What have you done? Then why you not asking me? The spreading of God. It's not dressing. It's not with your tie coming here today to worship. No. The job is outside. A personal ministry. If you have some kind of about six, I'm done. About six, seven years ago. Six, seven, eight years ago. A certain woman came and stood here and tested. What somebody did, and I want to share with you. And the, and the name was Kudini. Nidini uh, Kudini. Hana Kudini. Hada Dini. Hada Kudini had a chance to come and stand before him. He had the chance to come and stand before him. He came and stood here to testify what the Lord has done for him. She, she started saying, Brethren, I thank God for where I am now. For four years, consistently, I had a Bible studies with one church member, Amos Osipoye. Many are sorry, me, but for a friend of Amos, it's a Bible who asked And the Bible studies was not in the church. Now, young Sian, Bible that Bible study with that woman at her working place. Now, what did you say? Bible woman. Listen to the story. Four consecutive years. In fear, Marco, 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 and nine, and on in the year, Bible went to church. The fourth year. Now, in fear, nine, Hanakudini became. Convinced of all what Amos told him from the word of God. Now, what genius Amos and the true a child in a This is a kind of job I'm expecting from all of us. Say every year. Four years. Constantly. Constantly. Including the spirit of prophecy. And what surprises me is as Amos was doing that study, he never told any of us. It was between uh, the Holy Spirit and Hanakudini. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. I Hallelujah. Hallelujah. This is what I'm expecting from us. Personal ministry. Personal ministry is you and the person. And it's not a test. Sanya Yaka or Ankran Kre, Akran Kre Nyam Sam, a Yawo, and it in the Bakuna or the Nekasa. The church has no plan. Yes, 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 what are we doing? Yes, yes, yes. Oh, it's a personal ministry that we are talking about. Singing group, if you only mind. And Patrick, Mobile Mamato. 
Uh, Elder wants to be part of the singing group. Listen to the song.